thank you thank you thank you it was very useful thank you once again thank you so thank much thank you so much yeah. i have like try to reduce my postpartum weight healthy. try to set realistic expectations so I you thought. need to plan a diet that is easy to follow that can be followed consistently over a period of years yeah that is consistency because i've been trying to uh, practice asanas regularly okay. where i have been failing so i would like to be consistent in whatever i'm doing uh, since i am a mother of a toddler i wanted to live a long life for that i wanted to make myself healthy so i wanted to eat healthy okay thank you so much everyone for joining the session on time so i welcome you all to the session so as i said this will be a interactive session where we will be discussing your plans and goals for 2024 and i'll be guiding you on how you can achieve your goals in the year in the upcoming year oh, so to introduce about myself this is ranjini a certified yoga teacher from atmic yoga so now if you can see that i have i'm holding a bottle here so this is a bottle of water if i give this water to somebody who is very thirsty they will be drinking the water maybe uh, some person may use it to wash the face some person may use it to cook so the water how we use is depending upon the person who is holding it in the same way whatever knowledge and perspective that we have that will help us to handle the life and uh, we all have lots of plans for every new year but unfortunately many of us will fail to achieve those plans and only the motivation to go with the plan will be there for few weeks few months or maybe 3 months till march month we will be following certain things but after the year moves on we will be like stopping with our plans and we will be lagging in our motivation today is such day where we will be like with lots of hopes and lots of joy for the next year so to make it simple first uh, we will start with an activity so as i said if if you all have a paper and pen it will be good so i'll just ask you to write certain things which will help us to discuss further okay so you just write three goals three major health goals it can be physical or it can be emotional what is the three major goals that you would like to achieve in the next 12 months so here focus and write any three major goals that you would like to focus on the next 2024 so the same concept can be used for any other perspective but here i'll be focusing only on the health goals make sure it is not unrealistic but at the same time it should not be very easy so it should take your time and effort but at the same time it should not be unrealistic so for example if you focus on weight loss if you are planning like 10 to 15 kg in one year that is realistic but thinking like 40 kg or 30 kg reduction in a year is not unrealistic and at the same time it is not healthy for us also so keep your expectations realistic which you can achieve in a year this is one place where many of us fail because many of us tend to keep unrealistic goals and we tend to work a lot in the first one month and after a month we will know that it is not possible and we will let go of the goal so while choosing your goal try to set realistic expectations i now people who have written it can now start the next writing so now again write one reason for each goal why do you want to achieve these health goals what is the reason for you to keep this as the top priority in your life in the current situation so is it something you want to prove somebody else or you desire on your own to have this health goal or is it the fear of hospitalization or is it the fear of any other negative things or you don't if you have experienced any bad moments in the past because of this health issue and you don't want to experience it again what is that one reason you have chosen 
this specific goal so write one reason for each goal so three reasons and three goals that is what you have right now in front of you so once you have written it the next thing that you are going to write is see for example if i need to fly i will need wings that is a criteria for flying in the same way if we need to achieve anything in life we need certain criteria so for example again i'm again and again i'm giving weight loss as a example because many of us can relate to that and many students will ask for weight loss so i'm giving the same example so if you are uh, aiming for weight loss what do you think is the major criteria that you should have is it control over food or is it discipline or is it consistency so what habits if you have will help you to achieve this goal your prioritized goal the three goals that you have written right three top attributes that you need to achieve all the goals so i want you to get super specific so think about the traits it can be simple just by waking up 30 minutes earlier in the morning you can do your workout or asanas or meditation that is the trait that you are lacking and maybe that is the reason you are not able to achieve your goal in the past year so try to find out which simple behavior simple attitude simple thing that you need in your future self so if you have achieved that goal what certain characters will help you to achieve that goal try to write them so first thing is top 3 goals second thing is if it's straight line you can write the three top reasons that you have chosen this three goals in your life to achieve in 2024 and the next thing you need to write what is the uh, attribute that one should have to achieve this specific goals now we will write something with respect to our past accomplishments everybody here would have like achieved something in their life right they would have uh, maybe they would have got some uh, fever like they would have get better after a fever maybe they got some disease and they would have got better anything related to your health maybe they would have gone through a stressful period a grief losing some losing someone or losing a job any emotional issue that you have overcome in the past what have you accomplished in the past with respect to your health be it physical health or emotional health what have you accomplished on your past maybe you followed a diet for 3 months that is an accomplishment maybe uh, a mother who have gone through pregnancy and have delivered a baby that is an accomplishment that her body have created a new life so any accomplishments that you have made in the past write five accomplishments that you have done in the past and i feel you have motivated yourself on a holiday to attend a session on health to make yourself better to make yourself in a good health that itself is an accomplishment if you are going to attend a session till the end if you are going to get some clarity on your health that is also is going to an accomplishment because not everybody will like to spend their time in attending sessions regarding to health right so that is also a accomplishment from my perspective so write down whatever accomplishments maybe you would have joined gym joined yoga joined a swimming class anything that you made effort to keep yourself healthy or anything that you crossed any hurdle in your past that is also your accomplishment so don't think how small it is no matter how small the purpose of this is to identify the moments in the past that made you as a person now so you can very well link with your own experiences with your past experiences what helped you to become that person during the time that you experienced it so fill out this document like all the data and keep it yourself and then we can start discussing so anybody who have 
written everything can raise your hand unmute yourself and discuss one goal thank you for this opportunity yes. uh, as you were saying health uh, healthy weight loss is one of my goals okay um, yeah because after delivery i have been facing issues losing weight okay. so i think and that is leading to other complications in health okay. so that is the reason i uh, i have quoted here also okay. so i would like to concentrate basically on my healthy weight loss and getting healthier okay. overall okay okay so what uh, what are the other columns that you have written what is the positive trait that you would like to develop yeah that is consistency because i've been trying to uh, practice asanas regularly okay. where i have been failing so i would like to be consistent in whatever i'm doing okay. and the other points i've given uh, what uh, traits that i should develop is waking up early and planning my day okay. okay the previous day i would like to plan my next day so that i can wake up a little early and proceed with my asanas or whatever meditation okay where i to concentrate on okay. and uh, prioritizing myself as you should be knowing we generally prioritize our family and kids but uh, we fail to prioritize ourselves yes. so that is the other trait that i would like to develop here okay. so and accomplishment uh, i am an acupuncturist so okay. i learned acupuncture to become a healthier person myself and to help others become healthier okay. i am also a international yoga trained teacher tra okay. trained teacher okay. so i would like to concentrate on um, yeah. my regular practice and take it forward to other people okay. this year and um, i have been free from medicine for past few years okay. where uh, there is a situation that i might have to take medicine again so i want to avoid that so uh, living and getting through i have been un uh, under depression for a while but i am uh, out of it now okay. so that is one accomplishment i see okay. and um, i have uh, worked for 11 years in the corporate which was also very hectic for me balancing my family and my work like work life balance okay. so that also is feel an accomplishment in my life okay okay so thank okay. you we will discuss other things that you Extra, my my focus is like uh, for the year 2024 is um to reduce the weight healthily mm -hmm. and uh, to wake up early and explore brahma muhurta mm -hmm. also i want to eat healthy okay. so um all this reason is i wanted to reduce my weight because i wanted to feel myself more confident after my postpartum even i have gained so much of weight where um, uh, i i i am in hr field so whenever i'm i i need to face many people Yeah. at the time I, i will feel myself uh, so cornered because of my weight yeah. so i wanted to reduce my weight to make myself confident basically waking up early is like i just wanted to feel that brahma muhurta how it will be so there is something in that uh, i feel like um, both of my grandparents used to wake up so early so they seem to be so healthy so i wanted to basically explore that what is there i'm just curious about that so i wanted to explore that Okay. and um, uh, for eating healthy uh, since i am a mother of a toddler i wanted to live a long life for that i wanted to <laughs> make myself healthy so i wanted to eat healthy okay um in my um, uh, how can i achieve all this be about because um, i can uh, achieve this by discipline mm -hmm. consistency mm -hmm. dedication also self control on foods whatever i am taking up accomplishments in the sense last year um, i have like tried to reduce my postpartum weight healthily i have like eaten and stuff like that i have like every 2 kg or something every month like that i have reduced around 5 kg after that it was a hard break and i couldn't able to reduce even more um this about attaining the right weight according to my bmi okay i would like to reduce at least 10 to 15 kg Okay. Starting up here. Okay. If not fifteen, at least ten, hmm. because I have uh, moved more weight the uh, past two years. Okay. And I've been so unstable in my eating habits. Okay. And I've also uh, basically I'm a very uh, great foodie, so I okay. want to cut short my eating habits. Also, I want to extend my workout time. So that is what I'm focusing on here for the next year. And uh, I want to work on my emotional stability. I need to analyze my emotions, my thoughts uh, regularly. so i want to uh, start the habit of journaling hmm. i want to give myself good time and space for my improvement so i want to uh, my best from my past which i had been enjoying for a very long time i have set goals for this year and i have achieved them so i have uh, cleared my net exam gate exam this was my uh, this was a very uh, haunting goal for a very long time and i have succeeded that in my postpartum time hmm. i have been studying for that for a long time and i have uh, come to that 
so the missing part in my life now is i've lost my regular pattern of sadhana which i was in okay so i need to eat that then okay. and for uh, and i also want to have healthy tasty foods hmm. so i don't want to cut out that also i want to extend my work on time i love yoga and dance so i want to uh, make time for both of that okay so i want to get up early i want to meditate i want to be into some spiritual process so that it keeps me more lively and uh, for that i need good discipline hmm. and uh, perseverance so this is what i'm focusing on for this uh, good health okay. for for the next year okay and i would like to analyze myself on a regular basis okay. and then i i need to respond to situations and uh, people okay. ultimately i want to be healthy this beautiful happy and uh, break my absurd cycle and patterns that's it okay thank you so much for she girls have discussed their goals so if you can see all three of them are targeting mainly on weight loss sahana's answer was like um very hard like she wants to live longer for her kids so today just few hours back i got a news that around 27 years i think she just lost her life and uh, due to some health problems so yes nowadays many young people are losing their lives for some physical health issues and the majority of the reason behind these physical health issues becomes our emotional issues so if it's easy for me to talk now because all three of them are targeting weight loss so we will discuss how we can uh, impart a plan for 2024 for a healthy weight loss goal along while we take care of our emotional health how we can be disciplined how we can uh, continue our practice consistently for the entire year so for this first we need to understand we need to uh, split down our goals see for example if you have a large huge rock in front of you and you need to move it it is very hard even if you try to move it maybe you will be trying for few days few months and then you will know it is not possible to move the rock and then you will just go away from that place same way if your goal is very high you will not be able to achieve it if you're not going to break that goal into small small goals so you go you are going to break the rock into small small stones and then you can easily clean them away from that place so you can just interlink with your goals same way if you have planning if you have planning to do a weight loss as i said every month losing 1 kg to maximum 1.5 kg can be considered a healthy weight loss not more than that if you are going to lose more than that with any kind of products or with any kind of activities that is going to affect your metabolism and that is going to affect your internal organs so in 12 months let's say we can lose 10 kg so your ultimate target is losing 10 kg in 2024 so how you are going to break this bigger goal into small small stones is by analyzing how you are going to do the weight loss as revathi said she is a foodie and she likes eating food she cannot control eating food just by going uh, diet food or salads or something like that she is going to restrict her emotions a lot which in turn will give her stress and which in turn will avoid her weight loss journey so what everybody who is on a weight loss plan they can themselves identify a proper diet plan for them what will suit them because many times a, a sample diet may not work out because your lifestyle may be different maybe you are an early riser and you you cannot uh, eat a complex food that should be prepared because your kids may be going to school there will be many things that comes in the way of planning a diet so you need to plan a diet that is easy to follow that is consistent that that can be followed consistently over a period of years and that is easy to prepare like if you are going to keep a diet plan that is going to take nice amount of time from for from you for preparing the food then again you are not going to follow it for a long time the diet should be in line with your family diet and it should be easy to prepare easy to follow for at least 5 days in a week 
so i don't for i don't agree with a cheat day in a week but still if in the beginning if you are able to follow a simple diet for 5 days in a week then you are in the right path so the planning of anything will come like this plan from the base so the base if if you are planning from the base the base of the triangle will be big same way plan everything on a high level first so january to december 2024 what you are going to eat because you know maybe in february you have your anniversary maybe in march you have a wedding plan you will know like what is going to come in the one year uh, your traditional festivals what is going to come in case of december if you have uh, christians will celebrate the uh, christmas they they have to eat the um, items that have been prepared for the festival time so plan your year well ahead keep a diary keep keep a notebook for your plan so plan everything and write a diet that is suitable on regular days write a diet that is suitable for festival season or any occasion so you can ca- call this your cheat day so in this cheat day also don't indulge in sugars high carb foods or complex uh, uh, packaged items like burgers pizzas even if you are going to in- indulge in those kind of food you can restrict the quantity to a very minimal amount this way in first two or three pages of your notebook right how your diet is going to be in the next one year okay after diet if you have attended the previous year workshop transform 2023 i have discussed a lot about the inputs of the body like what inputs are needed to keep the body healthy in that if we can say food air water sleep and physical activity in this the food sleep and physical activity these three things are highly effective for weight loss if you're not sleeping well you're not going to lose your weight if you're not physically active you're not going to lose your weight if you're not doing calorie deficit you're not going to lose your weight in the in the term calorie deficit even if you are eating calorie deficit foods if it is not nutritious whatever weight you lose will again come back in the form of diseases so eat nutritious food that is locally made or at least a homemade if not made in a good environment and try to follow it consistently so i'll i'll come to the other point like how to become consistent but first we need to plan we need to plan our diet and then we need to plan our sleep routine what is going to be our sleep routine for the next year because many of us tend to stay awake long duration in the night now because 10 years back if if we are uh, asking somebody like what is their sleep time they may say like 9 or 10 but now they all easily say it's 11 12 or 12 30 so try to move your sleep time a little bit away so like how i said for the weight loss same thing if you are every day is going to bed by 12 o'clock by the december 2024 you sh- your uh, sleep time should be anywhere near 10:30 so i am giving this much time to reduce your sleep because nobody can practice uh, early sleeping just in a month even if they are going to do that they are not going to do it consistently so just imagine if you are every day hitting your bed at 12 just try to sleep early 5 minutes every day so every day you can start even from today or from jan 1 that is your wish but just try to sleep 5 minutes early a day so this way you are shifting your uh, time sleep time 5 minutes ahead 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 and the same way try to wake up 5 to 10 minutes early if you are a person who is waking up at 7 or 6 try to wake up 5:50 uh sahana was asking that she wanted to raise up in brahma muhurta raising up in brahma muhurta yes it is auspicious it will help you to focus on your subconscious mind which we talk a lot in the law of attraction classes 
but if you are going to suddenly wake up in the brahma muhurta you cannot be consistent so if you are a person who wakes up at 6 now try to wake up 10 minutes earlier 10 minutes earlier every week so that maybe in few months you will be able to wake up in brahma muhurta so you are adjusting both do not skip your sleep hours you will need 6 to 8 hours of deep sleep every night for the proper functioning of the system so do not sleep uh, skip your sleep pattern try to adjust both at the end what time you go to bed and what time you wake up and the biggest mistake the biggest blunder that we all do with our sleep routine is using e gadgets just before we sleep that will not help us to go into deep sleep that will actually restrict ourselves from going into deep sleep deep sleep cycle and this is going to cause many hormonal related issues in our body which in turn will raise our weight which will not allow us to reduce the weight certain people who put in lot of efforts if they are not considering the sleep input that is going to affect their weight loss journey a lot so try to maintain a sleep journal i will say so this have helped few of my students in the past so i will ask them to every day before they wake up uh, before they go to bed i ask them to write the sleep time say 10:30 10:40 11 o'clock write down the time and sleep as soon as you wake up in the morning just keep this note aside by your bed like your gratitude journal every time you wake up uh, every day you wake up in the morning try to write the time that you woke up and write a gratitude so gratitude will help your emotional health so as um revathi and uh, tirupur sundari both of them were asking about emotional health so the first step i would say the very first step of um taking care of our emotional health is by practicing gratitude because practicing gratitude is one such practice which one help which will help you to rewire your neurons see if you are thinking negatively about the experiences in your life you are practicing your brain to think negative so every day as soon as you wake up if you feel thankful for all the good things in your life you are practicing it is like a exercise for your brain to think positive so if you are practicing it for one year just trust me in this 2024 if every day morning you are going to write minimum 3 or maximum 5 things that you are grateful for it can be your hand your eyes your nose your cell phone your bed your pillow your water your roof of over the head your food on the plate anything don't try to repeat try to write different things on different day so that by the end of the year you will have a bunch of things that you should feel grateful for and this one simple habit of writing gratitude journal in the early morning will stabilize your emotional health a lot so if you cannot practice meditation if you cannot do anything for your mental health just do this it will not take not even a minute you may just write five things in 10 seconds 15 seconds just by spending this 15 seconds to 30 seconds a day in the morning will change the way you see life so this is the second point sleep and the next point for weight loss is physical activity so just decide the duration that you can work upon i know many here will be like working people be it men or women working people who have both kids to take care house to take care household chores to take care and also them as she said many of us keep ourselves in the last line like we will do exercise if all the other works have been completed but don't do that way do it in reverse you start all the work only if you finish your physical activity at least maybe if you are giving priority to your kid at least once your kid goes to school don't give anything else a priority because nobody else can love you more than you love yourself nobody else can take care than you take care of yourself and in a family if you are not respecting yourself you are teaching others in your family to take advantage of yourself to take more work from you so they know that she will not take care of herself herself so try to 
focus on yourself so they should know fix a time for this i will say fix a time so at least on 80 percent of the days we can follow this time it can be like early 6 to 6 30 uh, 6 6 a.m to 6 30 a.m i will do my yoga so decide a plan for this also so if you are targeting for weight loss uh, try to frame like 10 minutes of warm up 10 minutes of sun salutation and few asanas one day you can focus for your core one day you can focus for your legs one day you can focus for your arms so just write down the plan because many times if i say six o'clock you need to do yoga many times six o'clock in the morning we will think like what practice can i do today and we will sit for 10 15 minutes and then we'll decide okay we will do later this would have happened with many of you so try to keep a plan so try to keep a plan like if you are tired if you don't have energy that day if you are sick you should do at least pranayama and mudra practice if you have energy you should do some flow it can be a workout it can be a dance it can be a yoga whatever thing that will help you to move all your muscles if you are having tight work you cannot spend 30 minutes that day try to keep something very um, easy to practice in 10 minutes so keep different things in that notebook so depending upon your uh, if if say if you don't have time and you got only 10 minutes if you have a plan already then you can just go do that 10 minutes workout or 10 minutes yoga and then you can come back to your routine and take care of other things so only if we don't have plan we will be like thinking what to do so take one day or two day to write down this notebook so whatever you have written today along with that continue your food your sleep your workout plan like everything should have options if you just going to uh, stick with one plan like this diet i'm going to follow 100 percent no you cannot be perfect nobody is perfect here so you should have options same way workout you should have options sleep you should have options sunday i will watch some movies i will sleep late maybe if you're going to sleep by one or two don't do that at least sleep by 11 maximum or 10 30 10 30 11 try to sleep <clears throat> the more we connect ourselves with the nature the more healthy our body will become the more healthy our body is our mind also can be healthy so this is like in on a seesaw if this goes up this goes down this goes up this goes down so you need to balance both emotional health and physical health so you need to make a plan that you can follow in any day even if you are going to travel if you are going to travel and you don't have time for doing anything you can practice the mudras when you travel in the car so that is how mudras can be helpful there are mudras for weight loss so there are different things that you can do to take care of your health not just being on the mat or not just being on the gym so just do anything that will move all your body all your muscles all your limbs at least for 30 minutes if not 20 if not 10 if not at least 5 minutes you should your people around are around uh, in your family should know she will at least do five minutes of yoga a day she will not come out without doing that this in uh, this kind of impression should be there for you in your family this way you will motivate yourself and you will also start doing and remember mothers like only by watching us our kids are growing in the current environment where everything like everybody are getting diseases everybody are falling sick if we just go and visit a hospital we can see like how many patients are suffering suffering with numerous uh, uh, issues in their body so if we want if we want to give a gift to our kids it's a healthy body it's a healthy mind so only by us doing that we can role play we can we can make our kids to do that just by saying them do this do that they are not going to do that so try to incorporate healthy habits within you so that your kids also will get motivated and they will follow whatever you are doing okay and uh, sleep yes this thing i have told and uh, 
maybe we can you can just start the transform if somebody who is new here last year same time i conducted a workshop called transform 2023 in that i have posted around 30 videos 25 to 30 videos and all those videos are targeting one major input for for a day like one day i would have talked spoken about food one day about water one day about air this way we have covered different topics like karma gratitude journaling um our emotional power everything so i think this one will help you to understand how to plan our goals so in the past we would have uh, planned our goals like losing weight 10 kg in 2023 um, maybe joining a session for uh, 2023 joining gym maybe we go and uh, pay the membership amount for a uh, for a quarter or for six months and then we may not be able to participate in the event for the upcoming months so but now you will know like how to um, plan your goals so you need to be planning your entire year and you need to split it into months and you need to every day work on it so it's like months years and then days so every day you should work on it so one thing i wanted to talk again is the habit of meditation somebody have asked about habit of meditation so incorporating healthy habit like meditation into your life if you want to get mental health if you are going to focus on mental health meditation will help you but if a person who have never meditated before if they are going to just sit and meditate for 15 minutes or 20 minutes just two days they can do this meditation but after that they will not be able to continue the meditation so to avoid that i will tell you a simple trick for all beginners everybody in the current scenario would be watching reels every reel will be of one minute or 30 seconds or 15 seconds or less and i can say that this is one major hazard for our mental health just flipping our emotions like this and seconds one comedy reel will be there and then uh, emotional reel will be there one angry reel will be there some fight reel will be there this way if you are flipping your emotions it is going to affect our mental health i don't want to discuss a lot about that here but every day whenever you watch your reel just remember what i said stop skip two reels okay just skip two reels if you are going to watch endlessly obviously many people if they start watching one reel they just go go on watch continuously for 15 minutes 30 minutes they don't even watch the time so if you are in between that kind of scenario just simply lock your phone sit quiet until your mind feels calm and peaceful maybe for one minute or two minutes that's why i said skip one reel or two reel skip silent uh, skip it and sit silently for two minutes this you continue for a month this will give you some clarity and later in the february month try to increase it to four reels and later maybe from march month try to sit down and do meditation for five minutes this way slowly 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 incorporate meditating maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes in a day will will give a, a tremendous result in your emotional health mental health your your clarity of work will get improved the way you work the way you talk and the way you deal with problems will improve a lot all kind of problems be it professional or personal everything will improve a lot just by adding meditation in our practice in our everyday routine so if you have been already meditating then just try to increase the meditation time if not try to follow this whenever you watch reel feel like skipping one or two reel and sitting in silence for a while you don't even have to close your eyes just sit silently and observe what is happening in your body that is the first step in meditation so any other questions that have been asked by these three people that i have missed or anything else that you want to discuss ma'am i am trying for pregnancy for multiple years okay okay i have a doubt is that yoga helps for a natural pregnancy or not okay sure so <clears throat> yoga is not just about asanas yoga is lifestyle lifestyle changes so practice of yoni mudra 
practice of yoni mudra regularly and uh, identifying the underlying cause for your issue with proper diet if you are in under any nutritional deficiency or if you have conditions like pcos fibroids any kind of issues related to your womb you can try to manage the symptoms first so i will not okay. say like cure because yoga is a lifestyle modification but i have seen people who were trying for a baby for a long time they get stressful because of that and then later they tend to uh, follow a good lifestyle change with yoga diet sleep whatever we have discussed who are uh, troubling your sleep pattern then it is going to trouble your hormones so if you are going to correct everything and lead a stress free life and if you don't have any underlying emotional problems that is causing you infertility so i have uh, made a specific video on the emotional reasons behind infertility where many childhood trauma can create havoc in the um, in the reproductive system so try to analyze everything and find whatever problem you have identify the root cause and resolve it so that you will be blessed with a baby okay ma'am is there any online classes you are taking for yoga maybe we can discuss that later once i finish the session yeah ma'am thank you so much ma'am yeah so sorry revathi to skip your question yes so <clears throat> as i said diet sample diet whatever diet that you have been eating for years whatever diet your body is made of that diet do not change it so for example if you have been eating rice stopping rice completely just for weight loss is not good for your metabolism so same way try to identify a diet portion control is one thing that you can follow portion control is reducing the quantity of food you eat so as you said you are foodie you want to try different things try to reduce the intake say if you want to try on a piece of cake it can be a healthy cake that you made at home or any other food so christmas i just remember cake so it came so yeah if you want to indulge in cake just reduce the quantity instead of having a big piece of cake try to reduce the quantity to a half piece so this way you are portion controlling your food so in yoga we call the meetha har so 50% of solid 25% of water and 25% of air every time you eat your food eat 50% of solids 25% of water this water is not just water it is water rich foods so eating water rich foods in your diet taking water rich foods in your diet like our indian Uh, diet i know south indian diet and north indian diet so the indian diet is filled with curries is filled with vegetables and those things which will um, be like water 25% and 50% of the solids so try to balance this and 25% of empty stomach is what is air so this ratio try to follow never eat full never eat full stomach try to reduce your intake to 75% of your stomach and the very important thing in diet is mindful eating follow mindful eating eat only eat uh, do not do anything else like talking to somebody else watching phone or watching tv or anything else do not do anything else while you eat this will allow you to follow the meetha har so if you are focusing on something else you will not be able to know how much your stomach is full you will be just feeding yourself until the plate gets over so even the plate is still having food on it if your stomach feels 75% full just don't eat it so try to follow this one and stick with your traditional diet whatever you have been eating but try to include all nutritious food in that like vegetables fruits nuts whatever you can make it healthy try to add everything you can try all recipes all um, cuisines everything you can try but one thing follow mitahar mitahar is this one 50 25 25 okay. i hope this answered your okay. questions Okay. any other question i i also have one hmm. more doubt regarding yes. this 
Yes. Uh, the thing is, uh, people ask us to break the food. If you are taking full three meals, you can break it into four or five. Will that work? Four or five. I will not suggest that. I always suggest eating while you are hungry. So whenever you are hungry, eat your food. So just because you want to split, and un- unless you don't have any other conditions, you don't have to split your food and eat it in different intervals. And the one more thing that you can follow is like. um eating only when the sun is up when the sun is up in the sky you can eat because your internal fire your agni is related with the okay. sun yeah your sun your the sun um how much heat is outside is directly related to your heat inside the body so it can be helpful if you are eating your largest meal of the day in the lunch breakfast highly nutritious food and dinner early dinner whenever the sun is going to set so this is one major thing that can help in weight loss a healthy weight loss so first we have written three goals prioritize and set three goals that you are going to achieve in the 2024 try to write realistic goals not unrealistic goals and the next one why you want to achieve these health goals what is the specific reason any fear fear of hospitalization or you want to prove it to somebody else what is the one reason that you have chosen this health goal and um, what other attributes you need to achieve this goals it can be raising up early it can be being consistent whatever you want to uh, have as a attribute write down that and the last column is accomplishments write down five accomplishments in your past with respect to health that you have made in the past so this will help you to motivate so as i said uh, even in law of attraction we follow the journaling process scripting process this can be your scripting so if you don't have any idea about that uh, scripting is a technique where we write whatever we want and they say it becomes true same way write all your plans with the biggest hope that everything is going to come forward in 2024 and try to uh, one important thing yes try to track your growth every 3 months so every 3 months go back read all the things that you have written in the december month and try to see where you are try to see your imp- improvements try to appreciate your improvements even it is just few inch loss or even it is just not getting angry when your kid is throwing a tantrum so any small achievements just appreciate it just celebrate it so that it will help you to motivate and keep going keep it going for the entire year so uh, this document whatever we i am asking you to write try to read this document every day try to read this document every day even if after one month you stopped all the things but if you just keep reading it for one one uh, one week or two weeks again you will get motivation to do everything from the start just follow this one habit of reading this document every day so that you will be able to follow it for the entire year so i hope i have covered whatever i have been having in my mind to discuss with you people so thank you so much for joining the session with me and i hope this would have been like helped you in some or the other way if you like our content consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon to get instantly notified whenever we post the next video you can also follow us in our instagram and facebook pages by clicking the links in the description box below you can also get a copy of my book yogic secrets of eating for weight loss by whatsapping us you can also join in our whatsapp group where you can discuss your queries related to health diet fitness and get yogic answers from me directly Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. Nandri Vanakkam.